Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 1 and what to expect in the episode, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any ZCTV videos later this year. Remember guys, Batwoman is airing tonight, we're going to have our review out right after Batwoman airs, so be on the lookout for that, that is going to be later tonight, so double upload today. So, we're going to be talking about specifically The Flash in this video. We're going to be talking about Season 7, Episode 1, titled All's Well, That Ends Well. We're going to be breaking down everything that we know about the episode and everything we expect to see in Episode 1. From all the information, all the teasers that have been given out there and we're going to sort of compile it in this one video for you guys to kind of consolidate what you think might happen in Episode 1. So, as the title suggests, it's going to be a Wells heavy episode, or it originally was intended to be a Wells heavy episode, because at the end of the season, every year, we always have a couple of filler episodes, that's what we call it, when there is stuff that's going on that isn't necessarily related much to the main storyline, and especially how the season's going to end. And this episode is going to be very Wells related. So yeah, originally it was supposed to be you know, just this filler episode talking about Wells and sort of exploring his and Allegra's relationship, I do believe. And now there is a chance that maybe they've retooled it a bit to make it into a premiere. But nevertheless, it is still going to be a Wells heavy episode. Nothing is going to change that because they shot 90% of the episode before the lockdown. So that means they have shot some extra scenes for it and they can definitely retool and change some of the episode. But they've definitely not just, you know, scrapped the whole episode and made something new. So it may, and it probably will feel a bit different from normal premieres, because it wasn't intended to be. It was supposed to be the third to last episode of last season. And so let's move on. So Hartley Sawyer shot for this episode, and he's included in the season 7 synopsis, which we'll get to later, because it provides some further insight, and I'm going to remind you guys what they said in there. But yeah, so Hartley shot some of this episode, and therefore they're going to have to work around that. They're going to be cutting out his scenes and potentially the biggest thing in relation to him and to Ralph. In this episode, we're probably going to see the goodbye scene to him because they said that they were going to recast him and they would find a way for it to be fitting, but also to not have Harley on the show because obviously he got fired a while ago now. And so, yeah, I'm pretty sure this goodbye scene is going to happen in episode one because they kind of want to just get out of the way. And I feel like with them shooting 90% of this episode, they can definitely add something like that towards the end of the episode. Okay, so the Iris cliffhanger. This is going to be answered because in an interview with Eric Wallace, he said that we would have found out next week what happened to Iris and it wouldn't have been a big cliffhanger. It would have been like a one week long cliffhanger. But instead, due to circumstances, it turned out to be that was one of our finale cliffhangers up until the next season. But yeah, so we're going to figure out what is happening with Virus. We're going to find out where she is in the Mirrorverse. She is out there somewhere that has been confirmed. And so Eric says, and I'm taking this quote from a TV line article. He says, these last three episodes were originally written. And in fact, the episode after this, where you get to see exactly where Iris went to, has already been 90% shot. And he adds, there will be tears. So something in relation to Barry and Iris reuniting, I presume. So that might be going on. And we saw some Mirrorverse stuff being shot at the start of the season. Well, when they started shooting for the start of this new season a while ago. So I reckon the Mirrorverse stuff is going to be figured out pretty soon. We saw some behind the scenes leaks with Barry and Iris on the street with Eva, so they definitely reunite. And I think the tears he's talking about is definitely about them reuniting. And so Cisco will be back from his Atlantis trip. This was again supposed to be like a one or two episode trip where Cisco goes away, he comes back, and it's not very long, but obviously he was absent from the season finale due to them cutting episodes. And so it seems like he's been in Atlantis all this time. Obviously that wasn't intended to be, that way but it just turned out to be that way in the end so oh well but we'll see Cisco again probably in this episode I believe Eric actually confirmed that along with this interview and then also the top is potentially returning she was a character we saw a while ago I believe in season three when we went to the future and so yeah she is back we saw her in the DC fandom trailer for season seven and so yeah she's returning and she faces off against a seal that's 
a large chunk of that season 7 trailer, so they shot 90% of the episode. So it seems like apart from the world stuff, the other big stuff is she's going to be the villain of the week. The top is going to be coming back, Cecile is going to be facing her down, she's going to try and get into Cecile's mind and manipulate her, she has kind of similar powers to her. And there were a bunch of scenes inside the CCPD, so we're going to be seeing more of the top. She will be the villain of the week of the first episode. Potentially we get some extra stuff with Eva as well, as we head towards the final two episodes after episode one, as Eva's story will be wrapped up by the end of episode three. Okay, so the supersonic jet crashing in Central City, this was in the trailer as well, and so this was teased back at DC Fandom, and we knew that this was gonna happen, as they had already shot the footage, and that's, you know, that same shot in the trailer where Barry looks up into the sky, you see a jet, and it's about to crash, and Barry isn't fast enough to stop the jet, and so that's gonna be one of the big dilemmas. I don't know if that's gonna happen, you know, towards the start of the episode, towards the end, but maybe there's some relation to the top, considering that she is the villain of the week in episode one, and then this big event is happening and, you know, it's kind of about Barry not having a speed and him having to try and get back his speed. So I don't know if he's going to actually get his Speed Force powers back this episode, but he's still not fast enough to stop Eva by what we saw in the DC Fandom trailer. And, you know, normally he would be able to stop and maybe save all the people in the plane, but because he is losing his Speed Force powers and, you know, just in general, he's weaker as a superhero, he isn't able to do any of that and especially not able to stop either so he's gonna get his powers back soon we know that because he is the flash and i believe by the end of the season they intended him to actually get his speed force powers back whether that is through reviving the old speed force or creating his own new artificial speed force like they tease in the back half of season six we'll have to wait and see but it's going to happen sometime in the first three episodes I would say it's maybe going to happen at the end of episode 1, more likely to happen in episode 2 as they lead into the final kind of showdown for episode 3, although it will be a bit weird considering episode 3 is going to be like a finale episode even though it's like, you know, at the start of the season. But yeah, so Barry's going to get his powers back pretty soon. Alright, so let's go over the synopsis as the last bit of this video because it's interesting and some stuff has changed since they released the synopsis and we'll get to that in a minute so this is how it goes after a thrilling cliffhanger last season which saw the new mirror master victorious and still at large in central city the flash must regroup in order to stop her and find a way to make contact with his missing wife iris west allen with the help of the rest of team flash which includes superheroes caitlin snow cisco ramon ralph dibney well not anymore nash wells as well as The Flash's adoptive father, Joe West, meta attorney Cecile Horton, tough cub reporter Allegra Garcia, and brilliant tech nerd Chester P. Runk. The Flash will ultimately defeat Mirror Master, but in doing so, he will also unleash an even more powerful and devastating threat on Central City, one that threatens to tear his team and his marriage apart. Okay, so let's break this synopsis down because it came out a while ago, it's very outdated because it still includes Ralph in it. Obviously we know that's not going to happen, so that's going to be changed and I wonder if there's any other storyline changes. But yeah, pretty much the synopsis says when we reach episode 1, we're going to see the team regroup in order to try and find out where Iris is in the mirror of us and try and get her out. So that's going to be a big storyline with Iris at the start of the season. Once she's back, there is going to be some hardships, apparently. So the synopsis teases Cisco is going to be back, Caitlyn's going to be back supposedly in episode 1, but we're not sure about that. Maybe episode 1, maybe episode 2, we'll have to wait and see on that. However, Ralph is definitely not in the episode, and we may see a recasted Ralph show up at some point. Also, you have Joe West, Cecile, Allegra, and also Chester, who are in the episode. So they're going to be sort of backing them up. Cecile has supposedly one of the biggest stories of the episode, considering what we saw in the trailer at DC Fandom. And then The Flash will ultimately defeat Mirror Master. That will be in Episode 3, not Episode 1. And in regards to the whole season, it teases that she will be defeated, that being Mirror Master, Eva. And in doing so, an even greater threat will be unleashed. So we've been theorizing who could that be. Definitely could be Cobalt Blue 
considering what they say at the end of this. They say it threatens to tear his team and his marriage apart. Them specifically mentioning their marriage definitely leads to theories of Eddie Thorne coming back. So that could definitely happen considering Crisis happened and we know on Superman Lois there is a displaced version of Lex Luthor out there who is a completely different person. So what happens if the threat that is unleashed is an alternate version of Eddie Thorne somehow brought to our central city and wants revenge against Barry and everyone. That would be interesting and I would be totally down for that. Do you guys think that is plausible? Could he be the one sending the Godspeeds? Let me know in the comments down below. But that is about it for my episode 1 preview. Remember, Bow Woman is coming out tonight. We're going to be dropping our review straight away after the episode airs. So please stay up if you are in Europe or the UK. Or if you're in America, just stick around after the episode in the evening. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new to show your support towards the channel. Also remember to click the join button if you want to become a member of the DC TV show. And you guys can get exclusive perks, including member exclusive videos on shows like WandaVision. So please be sure to click the join button if you want to be included in that. Thank you for your contributions and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.